There have been some big changes in the electric wire world, and that involves a product affectionately called Romex. Now, Romex is in fact just a trade name. The real name for this cable is non-metallic cable. Now, the wires inside this stuff, of course, are copper, which is metal, but it's the jacket that is called non-metallic. Now, this is important because there is a version of electric cable with a metal jacket, and that's sometimes called BX or armored cable. But this video is specifically to talk about this, all the new colors of this non-metallic cable. Now, this is pretty crazy. We've even got a pink cable, purple, but what is all this stuff and why do we need new colors? But they also snuck one extra thing in here that can really get you in trouble with an electric inspector and most people do not even realize that it's there. So let's start with this white cable, the stuff that's been around since the 60s. Now, Romex as a company has been around since the 20s, but it wasn't until the 60s that they finally perfected a PVC or a, or a plastic type of insulation. And from the 1960s until the year 2000, thousand, this cable was always produced in the white color. One term you need to be aware of is AWG. It stands for American Wire Gauge. Now this is important because in every one of these cables, of course, you've got wires and they are sized differently. For instance, this cable is sold as 14 slash two. Now what's weird about that is you see three wires here. They don't ever include the ground wire when they're doing that numbering scheme. The 14 is the size of the wire. So this is 14 gauge two conductor wire. Now each one of these wire gauge sizes also has an ampere rating. So 14 gauge wire in most circuits in your home are capable of carrying 15 amps of current. But many homes have a mix of both 15 amp and 20 amp circuits. Now the difference between 15 amp wire, which is 14 gauge and 12 gauge wire is extremely small. In fact, when you put them next to each other, you can hardly see the difference. I've got to zoom all the way in comparing these two cables just to see the minute difference. So you can imagine if you're an electric inspector inside of a house looking around to see that things were done correctly, all of these wires in just white looked pretty much the same. And then in 2001, they introduced this yellow wire, which was specifically for 12 gauge wire. This would allow you to compare the 14 gauge white wire to the 12 gauge visually. Now fast forward all the way to today, 2024, and these guys have come up with a whole rainbow of colors, some of which are pretty crazy looking, but again, the goal is to help differentiate which cable is which. White remains as the 14 two conductor cable capable of carrying 15 amps, but to add complication to it, now we've got this blue cable, which is also a 14 gauge cable, but it's got the extra conductor making it a 14 slash three. And if you're wondering why do you even need this extra wire, you will typically use it in a three or four way circuit. And this red wire will often become what's called the traveler wire. Now yellow will remain as the 12 gauge two wire cable, and this is capable of carrying 20 amps. And just like our 15 amp circuit, they've also introduced this, a brand new purple color, but it's got the extra conductor, making it a 12 three. Now orange is not a new color. It's actually been around for about 12 years. Now this was always used for a 10 gauge wire. This particular one is a 10 two, of course, with two wires and a ground. Now, if you were wiring up something like a generator inlet, you'd have to get the 10 three version of it, which was also available only in orange. And to kind of harmonize it with the other color changes, this 10 three wire is now gone. And now we bring in its replacement the pink 10-3 cable. Now this stuff is pretty bright. It's really weird. At first I actually thought it was a special edition, but this is the color that is here to stay. But I also promised you guys one extra secret that you may not even be aware of. On every one of these modern electric jackets, you may have noticed that there's some writing. And of course it indicates the brand of the cable, but there's something you really have to pay attention to. And if you don't, this can cause you huge trouble Many people will do electric work in their own home and in some communities that may not be allowed. An inspector may be in your house, maybe for another trade like plumbing or something else, and they'll notice something that doesn't quite look right. So a homeowner will often try to lie to the inspector and say, oh, I don't know what that is. That's been there for 10 years. Except when you look at the side of the jacket on your cable, you're gonna notice there is a date. Now this is not an expiration date. This is a manufacture date. So many times inspectors will bag a homeowner right in the middle of a lie because they'll ask them when this work was done. They'll say they don't know anything about it. And then the inspector will say, well, then how does a cable have a date of just two years old and you've been in the house for 10 years? So your electric cable is giving away the rough or approximate date of when you did the project. And then the homeowner is really in a tough situation. It's going to take about six months to another year before you will only exclusively see these colors in stores. Southwire really initiated this and then Sarah Wire followed up, but it is not required by the National 
electric code, the only code change I could find was the one going to yellow wire way back in 2001. The National Electric Code almost never makes you get rid of old stuff that was approved at the time it was manufactured, so there's no reason to get rid of anything. You can still use it because it was made at the time that it was approved. Now, these changes may seem a little bit mundane, but electrical wire is all around us in your own home, in your business, and knowing what color does what and ensuring that you're getting the right size wire that you expect. If you've got other things you want to share, please comment below. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.